What is going on guys, it's Mr. HD here, and we're here with a kind of a weird video. Um, I wanted to do a build a drift to kill it on this mini, but I wasn't sure if it was going to work out. Uh, mostly because you cannot swap this higher compound. Um, so what I did was I just kind of built it, and then it was ended up being pretty good. So then uh, now I will post the tune at the end. Anyways, uh, that, and I couldn't think of a good song to use, so I just used some kind of crappy one that I've never used in a while. It's from like some free source... Uh, website that I found like three years ago. Anyways, guys, this is the mini Countryman X Raid Monster Energy stupid long full title that I'm not gonna say properly or at all. Um, and this is included. In the, this is actually Storm Island itself, of like the one tarmac road on the whole island. Um, and this is one of the six, five or six. It's one of the new cars that came with the pack. Uh, fours of themselves were grateful enough, or not grateful, but uh, were kind enough to uh, send me a copy of uh, Storm Island itself with the download stuff. They said, hey man, if you don't mind, make some videos on it. I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm definitely going to be streaming this, but I wanted to do like a more formal um, post-commentary video. Basically, I wanted to do the Robbie Gordon truck first, but I decided to do this one because it was like the one of the two cars that I could have done. It was this and the Ford. And for whatever reason, I thought I could probably put normal tires on this, so I'm assuming they're dirt tires. So that aside, uh, it's got the 6.2 liter LT1 V8 in it. It's making 920 in horsepower twin turbo. It is rear wheel drive swap because I'm a man, and that's what men do. Um, and this thing drifts hilariously well. Um, I was expecting it to be awful, basically just because of the uh, the what it's tuned for, the tires it has. Um, the center of gravity, the uh, wheelbase, everything in my mind was against this car from being good. It's good on both the dirt and on the tarmac. You saw the tarmac as what I'm basically focused on. I'm not a very big off-road guy. Um, so I was a little disappointed when this DLC came out, but like they won me over almost immediately with how cool it looked. Um, you know, and it is fun. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about the DLC. I'm talking here to talk about this specific DLC. It holds quite a bit of angle. Um, it feels hilarious. I, I don't really. You'd have to try to to, to for me to uh, for you to understand. Um, it feels like really funny. It's you look at it. And it's like, well, this is not supposed to be like this. This is like this weird mini uh, that's all lifted up and it looks like a rally car or not a rally car, but like a raid car, which is hilarious in its own right. Um, but it drifts fine. There's like there's not great but I mean it's fine it's got lots of power uh, I kind of just said caution to the wind with all my horsepower rules with this because you know it was already breaking the tire rules so why not um, it drifts it's got lots of power it holds angle it's steady it transitions well um, it transfers weight well it, I really can't say that I have any complaints maybe it's because I'm not being too uh, I'm not being strict enough but like I mean I, I really don't have anything negative to say other than the fact that it's kind of hideous looking. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I never like the Country Mins, that's just kind of my thing. But, I, I don't know, it's, 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 it's really weird, and now I kind of have high expectations for the rest of the cars. Um, so instead of uh, doing a Forza 4 video again today, I would decide to do this. I'm going to continue doing these uh, until... I run out of cars, and there's only going to be like maybe a month or so worth of Storm Island cars. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'd love for you to, um, to leave in the comments what you want me to do next. And I'll see you next time. Take care, and I hope you have a very swell and happy holiday week. And...